affiliation. I'm so Nathan being the founder, the father of India's Green Revolution. And what we do is there, we're building ecosystems for the next generation of agricultural entrepreneurs. And this is something that we're doing across various cities around the world, is to harness and ignite the potential and the purpose of all young people, regardless of background, regardless of socioeconomic status, to help them create a pathway that best suits them to allow them to thrive in the future. And we're doing this with a global platform called the Global School of the Future. I'm not here to tell you today about all the algorithms and the data sets that we've used to create our methodology. But what I'm here today is I'm going to tell you just how important QUAT is and how much it aligns with what the world needs for the future. So one of the things that we do is we work with a lot of startups and we work with a lot of social innovators. And one thing that they always come to me and they say, hey, I'm disrupting so-and-so. I'm going to be the next Uber uh, blank industry, right? I've heard it all. And most of the time, I just got to say, you know what? Yeah, you're, don't, you're not. Right. So, but when Jagra came to me, and we literally spent about five hours at Candy's and Bandra mapping out the whole ecosystem and all the benefits. And this is something that I really appreciated because I spent a lot of time traveling the world educating NGOs, educating startups, educating social innovators about why you need to think bigger. You can't just think in a linear step if you want to future-proof yourself. Um, going from step A to step B. You need to think about how you're going to help the whole village. And that's what Quad is doing. They're empowering NGOs by enabling the vaster ecosystem, entertainers, content providers, advertisers, and consumers. And one of the things that is so crucial uh, is that it, it is so important that they're creating one of the most critical elements of what NGOs need, and that's a pipeline for the future. And for NGOs to really succeed, they need to have a pipeline of how they're going to be able to get fundraising. The traditional mindset of we have to depend on our donors is, is very rapidly changing. There's growing donor fatigue, and now we're looking at new models for how we can help NGOs create a sustainable pipeline of funding. And this uh, quiet system is really primed to do that. And so one of the, so the four P's of what we call future proofing, I always ask this when somebody wants to um, see how we can work together. And I say, what is your purpose? You here all, have you found your purpose, right? NGOs all set out to have a purpose. Do you have the potential? NGOs have set out to optimize their potential with whatever they're trying to do. Do you have a pathway? Do you have a roadmap of how you're going to execute? Now, most of the time, people can answer me in the first three things. Purpose, potential, and pathway. But what about the, four, the fourth key, which is so critical? The pipeline. And that's what Glad is filling. It's covering the gaps and it's creating that. And I'm so happy to see, and I've been uh, you know, friends with Jack and I've seen his journey, and I've seen his team's journey. I've been to their house, and it's amazing what they've been doing. And they have found also each of their own individual purpose, their potential, their pathway. And now they're creating a pipeline for everybody else. And I'm, and I'm so glad to be a part of this, and I encourage all of you to also play your part in the larger ecosystem to help NGOs thrive in the future. Thank you very much. Quiet. Do good.